A famous toy, Play-Doh, was originally invented as a wallpaper cleanser. Its sticky surface helped collect all the soot from the walls and houses with a fireplace. Initially, it was solid white, but it got many vivid colors later, so the detergent in this substance was removed and replaced by colorants. Another toy that was invented by accident is the Slinky. In 1943, Richard James, a mechanical engineer, was working to create unique springs that could keep ship equipment steady even if the sea was rough. While working, he accidentally knocked some samples off a shelf, and he realized those springs didn't just fall, but could literally walk. Frisbee was initially just a pie container. Its story began in Connecticut, where William Frisbee started the Frisbee Pie Company in the 1870s. Yale students would throw the empty pie tins to each other and yell, Frisbee! So it turned into a real game. Chewing gum was supposed to be a replacement for rubber. The rubber experiment failed, giving life to a modern version of chewing gum. Its ancient version has been around since the Neolithic period and was represented by birch bark tar. Mauve-colored dye was meant to have medical use. While trying to synthesize quinine, a chemist spotted unexpected residues in his lab, which later became the first synthetic dye ever. Bubble wrap was meant to become cutting-edge design wallpapers. The designer wanted it to be three-dimensional. However, the initial idea didn't work out. Some of the inventors noticed that it could be super helpful for wrapping fragile items. So it ended up being a protective wrap. One thing we can't imagine modern life without was invented by a lucky coincidence. It's not YouTube. I'm talking microwave. It was invented because Perry Spencer, an engineer, just wanted to test radar equipment. While testing, he realized it melted down a chocolate bar in one of his pockets. He then tested it on some corn, and it worked just fine. Always remember to wash your hands, because it may lead to unexpected circumstances. There was only one case in the whole history when dirty hands led to something sweet, like artificial sweetener. John Hopkins, a researcher, was trying to find new ways of how to use coal tar derivatives. He finished an experiment and started eating his lunch, as he suddenly tasted something super sweet on his fingers. It was benzoic sulfamide, also known as saccharin, which turned out to be 300 times sweeter than regular sugar. Pillows looked quite different back in 7000 BCE Mesopotamia, where they were invented. First off, they were made of stone. Second, they weren't there for comfort, which is quite logical since sleeping on rocks is far from being comfy. Their initial purpose was to keep nasty bugs at bay, as they would constantly try to sneak into people's ears if people slept with no pillows. Yow! While knives are descendants of axes, forks came into fashion a little bit later. There are several theories about a fork's origins. It might come from either ancient Greece or the Eastern Roman Empire. By the 10th century, it became typical for the Middle East, but it became prevalent in Europe only a century later. It all started in the Italian peninsula, as pasta got increasingly popular and it definitely required some cutlery. Vaseline was originally nothing but a residue called rod wax, and oil workers needed to remove it from oil rig pumps regularly. Somehow, they figured out that the substance could heal scratches and cuts if applied right onto the skin. Later on, a chemist, Robert Cheeseboro, looking for a new kind of fuels, saw the oil workers apply that jelly substance on their skin. So he ended up manufacturing a brand new multi-purpose product he called Vaseline. A tea bag is another thing invented by accident. At the beginning of the 20th century, Thomas Sullivan wanted to sell his tea in a more sophisticated way than all the other people did. So he decided to pack it in silk bags. However, some customers thought it was a brand new, mess-free way of tea brewing. Well, those customers were right. Mouthwash is another thing customers didn't get right. Initially, it was invented as a sort of cleanser for surgical instruments. However, people thought it had way more potential, so they started applying it to multiple purposes, even as a deodorant, since it did keep germs and unpleasant smells at bay. Cellophane is another thing the inventor didn't expect to get in the end. A Swiss chemist wanted to create a tablecloth 
that wouldn't get stained as regular ones, so he tried to spray some waterproof substance on regular fabric. It came out quite stiff, and the waterproof coat got unstuck in one piece. It took about 10 years to polish the initial product up, but by 1912, cellophane was first used as a candy wrapping. Popsicle was never intended to be an ice pop. About 100 years ago, an 11-year-old boy left a glass with water, dissolved powder soda, and a stick to mix it up on a porch during a cold night. In 1923, Frank Epperson, that very forgetful boy, first presented his accidental invention in a Californian park. There's no record about the original Popsicle flavor. But among the first flavors, there was cherry, the most popular one, lemon, orange, banana, watermelon, and grape. The first chocolate chip cookies ever were meant to be just regular chocolate cookies. One day, Ruth Wakefield, the owner of an inn, ran out of Baker's chocolate, so she decided to replace it with regular chocolate cut into pieces. She thought it would melt, but it didn't. It was definitely for the best. Potato chips are one more cooking experiment that ended up in a new dish. It all happened in a fancy restaurant where a fussy customer complained about their fried potatoes not being thin enough. When the chef ran out of patience, he just sliced them in paper-thin slices and deep-fried them until the papers were light and crispy. The customer loved the final results, and we all do now. One more kitchen experiment resulted in fireworks. About 2,000 years ago, a cook in China was experimenting, trying to invent new recipes. So he mixed some charcoal, sulfur, and saltpeter, and those were common for many kitchens back then, and shoved it all into a bamboo tube. It exploded and gave life to fireworks, but no one knows why the cook would put that mixture inside the tube. Worcestershire sauce is another product that wasn't invented deliberately. Two English chemists, John Willie Lee and William Henry Perrins, simply forgot about some barrels in the pharmacy basement for a couple of years. The first mixture they made was totally inedible due to its super strong flavor. Later, it got fermented, and when chemists rediscovered the barrel, they were curious to try it. The taste got pretty mellow. The condiment was used to intensify even those dishes that originally didn't have it. For example, chili con carne. Worcestershire sauce is said to have the fifth taste, umami or savoriness, which explains its rich taste. Bumps between tire treads aren't just part of the design. Initially, tires have a slightly different shape. But as the tread wears down over time, these bumps show the minimum tread that's safe to drive on. A hairdryer we're used to today looked more like a chair when it was first invented over 100 years ago. Initially, a large seated version consisted of a bonnet attached to the chimney pipe of a gas stove. My apartment would need an extra room for that. A sandwich was invented to keep the hands clean. Some centuries ago, the fourth Earl of Sandwich asked the cook to prepare something yummy he could eat. Meat and all the other ingredients were wrapped in bread so the dish didn't stain his hands. Superglue is another purely accidental discovery. In fact, it was supposed to be a sort of brand new plastic. It didn't work out in that role, but it did a great job bonding the things together. Earl Dixon invented a band-aid to help his wife in the kitchen, sort of. He didn't cut or cook anything, but he noticed his wife cut her fingers while cooking pretty often. To make it easier for her to put on bandages and to keep them in place, he grabbed an adhesive tape and gauze. The combination of these two simple materials created the Band-Aid we use today. Back in the 19th century, people would sip their drinks through long tubes made of natural rye. Those tubes would give a grassy flavor to whatever drink they plopped in. Marvin Chester Stone was so annoyed that he decided to reinvent the straw one day because his drink was spoiled. He managed to wind the paper into a straw shape and use paraffin wax to hold it together. Thin rubber gloves, as we know them today, were invented because of disinfectants. One nurse had a really bad reaction to them, so the chief surgeon ordered a pair of gloves for her. A legend has it that Wheaties appeared because of clumsiness. It all started in 1922 with regular brand gruel that a dietitian at the Washburn Crosby Company was preparing. He accidentally spilled some on a hot stovetop, and all the gruel drops sizzled and crackled into flakes. 
Somehow, he decided to try it, and it turned out it tasted much better than the old gruel. The Breakfast of Champions thing came much later, 